Hello. Today I have a Acer laptop. I'll try to show you how you can uh, diagnose whether we have a VGA problem or something else. In this particular case, I am 99% sure that the laptop has a bad video card because when you plug it, the laptop starts but there is no picture on the screen you can see the uh, windows coming it's got a ATI VGA card so I think the problem is the, VG, the video card so since I gotta disassemble it I'm gonna show you how you can check whether it's the video card or not first thing we're gonna do we're gonna remove the battery And let's proceed with the disassembly. We're gonna remove all the covers. In this case, we have to disassemble the whole laptop. Just test. But we're gonna make a video about it. We don't need to remove the Wi Fi, I think it's held on the board. This one is with a caddy on it. Let's continue removing the rest of the screws, all at the same size. Except the two screws on the hinges, they are a little bit more longer. Let's check. Yeah, I think we remove everything. Now we're gonna flip the laptop. We're gonna remove the keyboard and the rest of the... First thing, we have to remove the, cup, the cover above the keyboard. Be careful because there is a cable here for the the buttons here just remove it like this after that just open the mechanisms that are holding the keyboard be careful not to break something just push them a little bit up and they're gonna open unlock the keyboard and remove it Now we have to disconnect a few cables here for the touchpad. We're gonna remove the Wi-Fi cables because we have to take off the display. Disconnect the LCD cable first. 
the whole display is held by two screws on each side just lift it up and put it on the side we're gonna need it after a while to check do we have a picture or not we're gonna disconnect the microphone here and there's a few screws under the display that we need to remove Also, we need to disconnect the left speaker, the right one is on this side, but we're gonna disconnect it anyway. And now start separating the plastic. You can start on which side you like. This is an old laptop, so it will be easy to open use your finger a guitar pick or whatever you have the screw although we check now we have to remove the modem here disconnect the cable and remove the board I'm gonna leave this on the side the whole board is held by one screw, I think, on this side here. Now, the board is out. We're gonna remove the cooler. You can try and heat the chip with the cooler on but it will absorb a lot of heat and you don't want to expose the board on extra heat so better to remove the, the whole cooler and again this is only for a testing purpose this is not a permanent solution if you don't have a if you have this type of problem it can last for a day, a week, a month, a year nobody can tell now this is the the video card chip so right now we're gonna put a little flux this is a uh, mix with rosin and uh, isopropolic alcohol or just a little bit Now, some people say that when they heat the chip they use uh, 250 degrees. I like to use more. I am usually using 450 for a couple of seconds above the chip. It heats the chip faster and so far it does the job for me. You wanna see the flux start bubbling, that means it's heating up. Just try not to hold uh, the hot gun on uh, the same place, just move it.
my hot air station is not is a cheap one that's why I hold a little bit longer because it needs more time to set the temperature if you have a decent old, uh, hot air machine you'll do this for a short period of time now let's cool the chip a little bit Now, just for testing purpose, we're gonna put everything back, just the board and the display, so we can see do we have a picture or not. We're going to try just by putting the display only and the battery. I think it will do the job. and we have a picture yeah there is no hard drive on it basically that's the procedure uh, just to mention it again this is a is not a permanent solution in order to work for a longer time you need to replace the whole chip by heating it up you just fix it temporarily it can work for a month a week basically that's the whole procedure right now i'm gonna reassemble the laptop because um, i need to speak with the customer whether he's gonna approve the chip replacement or not and that's it for now hope you like the video bye bye